Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do save and load files. So, first thing we do, so add echo off, and then we'll quickly do control S to save it. And we'll just go desktop, and save and load dot bat. And there we go, done, that's a bat file. And then we go title, we'll just do save and load. Now by now you should be very familiar on how batch file works, if you've been following along with all my tutorials so far. Hopefully you have understood all of them, but um, yeah, I also just want to say um, there's a Discord link in the description and in the comments that will take you to my Discord server, where you can then um, uh, join my Discord server and then lots of batch files and there like you can um, tell people if um, you want them to beta test it or just test your batch file. You can't do any viruses though in there or exe files because could potentially have a threat. Um, and then we also have game um, challenge Tuesdays where, uh, what's it called, we will, I will set a time limit on uh, how much time you have to make a batch file and then once that time limit's off um, you have to stop making the game and then you submit it to a channel that's in there and then we review a game and then we see, then we rate it with, and we see who who's batch file gets the most votes but you can't vote for your own batch file so if that sounds interesting or fun to you then uh, go join the server um, or if you just want to promote your um, batch file then give it a shot might be fun but anyway let's continue with this so color we'll set it to 2 I think it's I'm I'm so bad with this let's just clarify right now if it's green yep yes it is green 2 is green okay always going to remember that now and then we're going to go to um we'll just go to um home we'll just call it home cls echo dot and we'll do echo one here and we can choose to okay i seem a bit rushed today because it is 8 53 <laughs> it's getting late so i need to rush this <laughs> um might not be as clear so what we're gonna do now is we for the first option we're gonna make it so that it's gonna be called add. Um so then you can choose to add on to a variable and then we can do we can also choose to save or to load and then we we'll just do a choice command one, two or three. So um basically here this we'll just set here set oh set number equals zero so this is just going to be or we can just call it variable one variable one and basically what it's going to do if they pick add then it's just going to go to um it's just going to go and add one to uh the variable there so if it equals one and then go to add we can just call it um and then if the error level equals two, go to save if error level equals three, go to load. And then we've got all that started. So now we just we'll start off with add. Sorry if I'm going a bit faster than usual. Um you might have to pause a bit, um to if you're copying down, but hope I'm not going too fast. Actually you know what I am going too fast. I'll just try and slow down a bit. So Echo, so we'll just do set slash p variable one equals variable one plus one. That what that will do is it will just plus one onto the variable. And then we can just do echo and variable one um now equals and we can just do variable one and then we will then pause it and go to home nope oh, <laughs> gome I want that and now we can do save all right so this is where the where it gets kind of difficult if you've never done save or load files before it's not too difficult though but um this is how it's gonna work right so we're gonna say what do you want your file name to be called and then they're going to we're going to make some input so we'll just do um 
we'll do file name equals file name and then they're going to enter in what they f what they want their file name to be called or their save file to be called and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a bracket and then do echo and then we're going to do the variable which is one and then we'll just do a closed bracket and then in a right arrow and then into the file name file name dot save because we want to be called we want to be called a uh, for example if they in the input bar they put in uh, a save file this is going to be save file dot save or we could just do it as um progress like a dot progress file or a um variables file but we'll, for now i'm just going to do dot save um now it's going to save it into that then we'll just go Echo saved, and then pause. Go to home. Now we'll do load. Alright, CLS echo, and then please type the name of your save file. Now we'll do an input bar and save name equals file name. And then here's a little bit that you probably didn't want to do but we're just going to do it anyway so if it if the the file name that they typed exists so this is a bit confusing i feel like it should be if the save name dot save exists go to load or something go to load save i feel like it should be like that but it isn't right it's not like that it it is it's it is like if it exists and then we do save name dot save so if exists save name go to load save else it, else it's just going to echo um sorry but that save file doesn't exist Pause, go to home. Oh, home, and there we go. And now we'll just go to the actual load, load, save one. And now CLS, and then we'll do is we'll do a left arrow, and then the save name, dot save, and then a bracket here. And then do set slash p, variable one equals whatever is on that first line of that save file so I'll just quickly show to you real quick so we'll just do loaded and pause so I'll show what I mean um, by uh, let me just quickly alright so here we'll just go and do so add we'll just go and add variable now equals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Alright, now equals 10. If we want to um, go to save, I uh, would we'll call it save file. And then it's a saved. And then if we go load, and then we go save file, then it goes loaded, right? So now that's done, it's see, as you can see here, it has a little save file thing. And we'll just open it in Notepad. And as you can see, it equals what it was on that first line so it echoed the meaning of the variable into the save file here so um, which is 10 and now what we're doing in here is we're setting the variable uh, 1 to equal whatever is on that first line if say there was a uh, uh, for example we could do like an animal like cat there and we did set slash p um, animal equaled. Now w what that would do is it would equal the variable animal would equal whatever is on that second line. That's how this one. This this is how this kind of save file works, right? So and we'll just do that. Echo loaded and then echo your and then we'll just do variable one <laughs> equals and then variable one and there we go
we're done. So we'll just quickly delete this and do it again. We'll do add. Let's add it a couple times. We'll do six. All right. Then we'll go save, and then we'll just call it my save file, and then saved. And then we'll go load it, and then my save file. There we go. And now just to prove it again, we we'll go here, and then full screen, and we we'll go load my save file, and then equals six. See, just like that. That's how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial, and we'll just quickly mark it as end of script. And there we go. So, 52 lines, oh, lines in total. Um, there we go. So we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, you don't have to like or subscribe. Um, remember Discord server if you want, join it. All the details will be in the server about how everything works. So, yep, just... Give it a shot if you want to join. Oh, I don't have to stay for long. Um, but it would be good if you did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Bye.